This model of an MAN TGX tractor and Notabone ballast carrier is in the colours of Wiesbauer, the German Cranage and Heavy Haulage Company. Just like the majority of WSI truck models, it comes in their standard packaging and the model arrives factory sealed. First out of the box is the multi axled ballast trailer and that's swiftly followed by the MAN tractor. There's no information provided about the model and the last thing out is a bag containing some deck posts and we'll see those later. On close inspection there was one tiny little part left in the box and that was one of the tie down points from the trailer. But fortunately it's a very easy fix and you can just push it into place back in the hole. If your luck's in it'll just stay in the hole so let's find out if we're lucky today. It's so exciting to see what happens. And the answer is it stays in so go out and buy that lottery ticket. The MAN chassis is highly detailed with very good suspension and transmission. And the cab looks great in Wiesbauer colours, particularly with the logo on the door mirrors. The graphics are very sharp and the MAN type number is TGX 33.540. Under the cab is a detailed engine and it's nice because it's got MAN common rail written on it. Behind the cab there are the usual coiled airlines and a good touch is the colour coded filler cap. The underside of the ballast trailer is really good, the axles are very well detailed and there are plenty of fine hoses which add to a complex look. At the front there's a connection point for the airlines and there's a nice Notabome logo on the headboard. The deck has got diamond plating on the metal part and the replica timbers are plastic. In close up the wheels are detailed and along the trailer edge there are some very small graphics. The high level of detailing continues at the back with lights, a number plate and mud flaps. So let's start with the MAN tractor out on the Cranes etc Strasse and it offers a fairly smooth ride. The rear axles spin easily and at the front there's working steering which is rather better than you usually find on a WSI model. The range of movement is not extreme but it's good enough to provide an interesting pose and trace a shallow curve. One feature that's very nice on the model is the tilting cab and it's worth it just to have a look at that detailed engine. The ballast trailer is a nice piece of model engineering, it rolls along well in a straight line. But the interesting functionality is best viewed underneath. Each of the axles has got working independent suspension. A really nice feature is the working steering on the rear four axles. It's proportional so the rearmost axle turns the most. And the front axle also has steering capability. So we flip again and look at the trailer the right way up and that suspension works really well. Now we'll set the steering on the rear four axles and on the front axle and that allows the trailer to move really nicely in a curve. This feature is well engineered by WSI. Another nice feature is that the front axle can be raised and clipped out of service if it's not needed. So you press it down and then flick over a little clip. And that provides just enough lift so when axle one is raised the wheels do not turn. But what happens if you get a puncture? Well firstly you get angry and shout at somebody but after that you can get a spare wheel out of the spare wheel holder. The other feature on the trailer is the landing legs. And these are also nicely engineered because they're all metal and they turn smoothly. Revealing no screw threads, just nice smooth pistons. Once they're lowered you can do another backflip somersault. And the trailer is properly supported if there's no tractor. But there is a tractor and here it is so let's join up the tractor and trailer. And as always it's easy enough unless you're drunk. Once the kingpin is clipped in it's a good connection and there's plenty of movement possible between the tractor and trailer. If you sometimes find things are a little bit too flat then you can add some deck posts. And these are metal parts that just press into the holes. They can sometimes be a bit loose fitting so you might have to straighten one or two up. Now we can move on to the genuine imitation real life test where we pair it up with a Wiesbauer branded crane. Firstly we can load the trailer up with some spreader plates and then we can follow that with some of the ballast counterweight from the mobile crane. And while we're at it we may as well carry a spare hook. The cranes etc team is sometimes lazy so here they're just going to plonk on the fly jib as well. In summary this is another very nice ballast carrier model from WSI. The detailing and features of the trailer are very good and the whole model looks really good in the colours of Wiesbauer. If you like heavy haulage then it's highly recommended. <laughs> 